Number one, Raycast. It's basically Spotlight, but on steroids. You can open apps, search system wide for files and add extensions to it. You can even play this confetti animation. Something else Raycast also does is window management. But for that, I use another app, Rectangle. It adds window snapping to macOS, which macOS has recently gotten in the Sequoia update, but my Hackintosh would burst if I installed it. So Rectangle works. You can assign different shortcuts to the window snapping and you can also do it the new way with your mouse. The next app is a calculator, but it's not any ordinary calculator. It's a special calculator. Okay, that sounded better in my head. So in new me, you can do calculations with using words. I know it sounds weird, but you could do stuff like 5 plus 5 in words. It's pretty cool. So I switched from R Linux to macOS and I had to back up all my projects. So I compressed them into a .7-zip archive and put it on the cloud. Then in macOS, I couldn't archive it with the default unarchiver. So then I installed the unarchiver from the app store and it did its job pretty well. Wow. Too many unarchivers in one sentence. Next, we have iTerm2, which is a terminal emulator, because the default macOS terminal sucks. But iTerm plus OMICSH is pretty clean looking. Also, if you're not scared of the terminal, you can do this. The next app isn't really an app, but it's a package manager called Homebrew. It basically enhances the Mac experience by so much. You can install apps, terminal tools, and a lot more from Homebrew. Only if you're not scared of the terminal, that is. Next is App Cleaner, which finds all the random files that apps leave on your Mac and deletes them all at once, which is pretty helpful. Next app I use is probably my favorite utility to download on any device I use, and it's LocalSend. It's basically AirDrop, but it works with your Wi-Fi and also supports devices other than Apple's Vault Garden. It's just awesome. Next app is called Min which is a browser that has minimalist as its second name. It doesn't have a start page, it's based on Firefox, and it's pretty secure. It's definitely a browser to check out if it tickles your fancies. The next app is pretty solid. It's called UTM, and it allows you to run a computer inside your Mac, basically a virtual machine. You can run Linux, Windows, and even macOS. So if you're running macOS, you need these apps. Also, you can find the apps and their links in the description below.